Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I have something very special for you all. Now, recently I paid a visit to the B612 Foundation's HQ and talked with their CEO and former astronaut, Ed Liu, about their ongoing work studying the asteroid hazard. Now, they're a non-profit foundation basically working off of donations from individuals and groups who have an interest in protecting the Earth from the potential threat that asteroids pose. Anyway, I decided that this would be a perfect opportunity to see what a real astronaut thinks of Kerbal Space Program. So, without further ado, here's how it went. So how's this work? Well, okay, so first of all, we introduce you, so I'm going really, to say that. Uh, hello, I'm Scott Manley, and uh, I am here with Ed Liu from the B612 Foundation, who are real-life asteroid hunters. And I'm going to get him to play Kerbal Space Program. So I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, start recording. <laughs> start the game. There we go. Yes, I think you could probably build a spacecraft, right? All right, let's give it a shot. Let's give it I'm a building shot. Building one for real. So. Yeah, you're <laughs> yes, you've been in one for real, right? Uh, and, and I'm building one for real. You're building one for real to do what? We are going to find all the asteroids in our solar system that could hit the Earth. That it's is good to know if something's going to hit the Earth, so we can do something about it. Yeah, it, well, it's it's like if you know the threat's there, you can play the game. But if you don't know it's there, you can't you play can the do. game. You can't so, deflect an asteroid you haven't found. That's what we like to say. Yes, that's very important. I figure once we find it, everybody will be uh, all behind a, mass, uh, a I mission think, to deal with I, it. I think funding is not an issue if you find something that's going to yeah. hit the Earth. Well, anyway, funding is not an issue here. Why don't you start uh, picking some pieces here? Now, you okay. use the mouse, you click on items from the left. I would okay. start with a space capsule is a good thing here. Uh, this one okay. here is a, a lightweight command pod. It's a little like okay. the Mercury spacecraft. All right, um, that, that's good with that. There. Propulsion. We need propulsion. Yes, you need propulsion. Propulsion is good. Propulsion is very Let's good. Let's go with liquid. Well, you're going to need fuel for these things. That's one uh -huh, thing you okay. might want to do. Oh, these don't come fueled, huh? They don't come fueled. Oh, you need empty, to add, yeah. yeah, you need to put, put in fuel tanks for it. <coughs> How much fuel does it actually take to uh, get your uh, spacecraft out to its target? You're well, for the B612 Sentinel mm -hmm. spacecraft, we don't need that much because we are going to use the gravity of Venus to pull us to circularize orbit around ah. the sun. So. But you need to get out there first. We do need to do that. But we'll do that off the ground. Off of Our launch vehicle will provide that. So. Go down here and click on... No, I, Click on this little thing that here. Thing? That will bring you to the fuel tanks. Ah, uh, okay. So, so you, tanks are first? Tank, yeah, you probably want to put a tank on above the engine because sure. fuel tends to flow downwards. Okay, yes, indeed. So how about this? Yeah, try that. Right, now, does, is that it? Oh, That's oh, it. I... So you can click it on there. Excellent, you see? Uh -huh. So now pick up your rocket and move it up a little so you get room underneath. Okay. No, no, pick up, pick up the capsule. <laughs> Will, uh, will it stay it, attached? It will uh, stay. It will, the whole thing will be moved. You have uh, now the okay, ability to lift rockets. Oh, cool. 18 tons. We don't, of, need, we don't even need a crane. You awesome. don't, yeah. So let's put an engine on the bottom of this. Okay, side. so that's back on page one there. Okay, I see what we've got here. Yeah, you got, you got this figure there. And uh, this is, is this bipropellant? This is a bipropellant engine, yeah. Uh, okay, it, I'll take it. Yeah, it looks like they use, uh, you know, liquid kerosene and uh, liquid oxygen, I would think. Okay. There, you get yourself a basic rocket. Okay, now. there we go. So now we need a booster to get this puppy up in, into space. Right? Wow, I think you, you already have the most powerful thing. You could have some solid rocket boosters there. Yeah, we don't want no solids. Well, actually, we do for get first stage here. Yeah, well, right. well so, why don't you strap those on the side? Uh, like that? Or yeah, that? or like that. They're all fancy names. Okay. And we'll just, how many do you want? Uh, let's go with uh, two. Two. Let's go with two. Okay, so you've got one on each side. You see it's set up the symmetry. Yep. Okay, and now I can go back and strap on uh, some solids. Yeah, that's on your first page as well. You have actually have an asteroid there because we ha we're developing an asteroid. Uh, that's the tiny one. That's a bigger one. All right, we'll take those. <laughs> okay. Maybe, whoa, baby. Yeah, roll. move the mouse cursor right over the thing you're attaching it to. Move it right over the... Yeah, you see? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, almost. Wow, this is uh, an interesting looking vehicle. Um, okay, I need a second stage. Though, you need, I? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. It, you actually only need about uh, four kilometers per second delta V to get into Oh, space. this is not a uh, Earth. It's not an Earth analog. Okay. It has the same <coughs> acceleration due to gravity at the surface, but okay. it's ten times smaller. Uh huh. So this probably won't, it'll probably go a long way up, but it may not get into orbit. Okay, so I, can I stretch this stage? You, what you can do is pull that uh, rocket off and then add another fuel tank in. 
Ah, uh, okay, yes. That they're essentially giving myself a second stage. Yes, there, so you can oh, okay. grab it and okay. get a little more room. How do I get this thing off the top? And you have to pull the fuel tank off the capsule. That's how it oh, works. Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta pull. Pull that just down a little, grab it, click and, yep. There. Okay. There. And then grab the capsule. Whoa, what okay. there? You just clicked on a window outside the purview of this. Let's close it. Close that. Yes. Oh, and Whoa. now we get a different window. Just click back on the... This is a Mac. You know how these uh, things work, Well, actually, right? I don't use a Mac. <laughs> what? But you're, like, just down the road from Cupertino, yeah, right? Yeah, but... I, I, I oh, noticed wow. that you're, like, up in Sand Hill Road, which is where all the investment in Silicon Valley... Yes, comes. and it is not a coincidence that we're located here, because many of our large donors, and we are supported by private donations, mm -hmm. live up and down Sand Hill Road. Oh. So. I was going to comment that it's really... It is like an investment on the future, really. It's the ultimate investment. It, uh, and you're it, saving the world, so to speak. It definitely is. Uh, let's see here. Can I Good. just throw it that's, like, that's jet fuel. You yeah. want to go into page two if you want another fuel oh, tank. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Where did we get that fuel tank? No, you that's, can pick any of these, these things. That's, an, that's another one, right? Yeah. Okay. You can do that one. So who do you have as donors? Are there anyone you can you know, attach to the capsule only? Ah, uh, okay. It, everything comes from the capsule here. Okay, and then grab here and then move. Uh, no, everything has to go. That's the thing. When you move that, oh. it's it's complicated, but it's a lot easier than building real rockets. Yeah, there we go. I think we ought to get to orbit. You think you think that'll get you to orbit? I'm, I'm guessing. I don't really know. Um, do you want to maybe put a parachute on the capsule so at least your dude can escape? <laughs> Now, okay, let's hit the green button and launch. Okay. I hope you're not colorblind. No, let's no. ready. Here we go. So, yeah, you, but you're, you know, you spent, you've been on three missions. Yeah. So yeah. you've been to Mir and ISS? Uh, I've been to ISS, Mir, Flown Shuttle, and wow. Flown and, uh, Soyuz. Wow. And you've done a lot of EVA work as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so. so here we go. So here's your controls. You're going to answer your question about donors, though. We have a. Uh, uh, a lot of our major donors, those who don't wish to be anonymous, are on our website. So oh. if you go to the b612foundation.org, you, you can have read all the about there. Sentinel and what we're doing, and you can see, if you really care, uh, some of the people who are supporting us. And, and you, if you would like to support, you can join them. Yes, we definitely can use that. So, <laughs> never miss a never miss a chance. That's a chance to pitch, right? Yeah. So you are now sitting on the launch pad. What you're going to okay. do is shift and control, adjust your throttle. So I would throttle up to one hundred percent. Okay. And right now you're going to fire only the solid rocket boosters. Okay. Right. So if you hit, and then the okay. next stage will detach them, and then when you hit space stage again, it will okay. fire so, your main so engine. Okay. So do I hit? So no, you're going to hit space bar to do that. But before you okay. do anything, W, A, S, and D control your pitch and yaw for this rocket. Okay. So w, you're going to need to keep this flying straight. W, A, S, and D. Just, yeah, W and S are your pitch and A and D. You have a nav okay. ball at the bottom. So W oh. and S and A and D. Okay. Pretty easy. Pitches stuff. on this screen pitches is... up and down, yeah. Is... This way? I mean, left, right, or... Yeah, you're or sitting on your back right now, I believe. Ah, uh, okay, all right, yeah. All right. With the back head facing I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. You'll I'll figure it out. out you're going to go... You're going to want to go to the right. Anyway, so hit space to start things, and then... And then there you go. So, so you're... We're moving. So you're not moving very fast. So I want to pitch you, a little bit. Mm, I would... I would... Just you, a tiny amount. You're pitching north, right? Oh, is that... Oh, I see. I, I want to rotate. You so can, I want to unpitch. Yeah, you want to hold an S to unpitch. Okay, and it's getting kind of late now. Uh, yeah, I think... I, think right, I, I should have I did that too early. Yeah, you know, one of the problems is you don't have any control surfaces on this thing. Ah, I see what's going on here. So we don't have active control. You don't have active control on solid well, rocket You didn't tell me that. You didn't ask. <laughs> you naturally <laughs> presume these things because real rocket scientists would do this. I would. I thought we would have had... Uh, Active control. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. You can okay. actually put little uh, control vanes on there if you like. And okay, give ourselves a little bit of stability. Close the FAR thing again. If you look up at the little wings icon at the top, uh, wing wing is aerodynamic. There. Go to the right. There, that's a wing. That there. Now, okay. if I would suggest putting four. That's a tail fin, but that doesn't have any flaps on it. You have these things here which actually have winglets. Uh, I believe this is an active control winglet. There you okay, go. Okay, so... So you can stick that on the side of your rocket and that'll at least give it I, some... Uh, let's put it on... And I get it onto there. Yeah. And I'm going to try, try and move it around so it doesn't hit your... There, that should work. Now, another thing I noticed was that the main engine wasn't firing. 
Yeah. Right. So do you want the main engine to fire straight away? Uh, actually, yeah. Let's, let's okay. go. Let's go. So what you do is you pick it up from the stage, pick up this thing, and drag it down to stage two. Drag it. Uh, uh, drag it to yeah. stage two. There you go. So now that will fire at the same time as your okay. SRB. So Alrighty. You should be able to hit the green line and the uh, green icon and go to space. Okay. How much time have we got here? Can we I... have it says eleven twenty three. Okay. We have Just we have minutes. six minutes to get into orbit. All right. So so what I actually want to do now is is rotate that. You want to rotate using the yeah. Um, it was D or D? I think will turn you the right way. Which direction do I want here? Okay. D. So let's right, so throttle up. Throttle up and hit space. You now have bill curve. Wow, you're going a lot faster now. Yes, indeed. So if I go D. Yes. Right. Right. A so little bit more. A little bit more. Now okay. it's going to want to go back because you have these control surfaces yes. that are kind of keeping you straight. Yeah, we can do this. Wow, you're getting some Mach effects there. You're going. You're really going right. fast this here. This is rather early, but my intuition may be wrong because this is not a. Uh, yeah, it's not a real spacecraft. Yeah. You have. You can see the G meter. You're accelerating yeah. at about four Gs. Where's my G? Down here on the side. Uh, okay. In fact, your solid fuel rockets aren't going to last. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some serious shock heating. Uh, yeah, I think you over you okay. uh, used an engine that's a little too big. Uh, okay, so why am I rotating like that? I don't know. Uh, perhaps it's the con the pilot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, how do I I'm, hit I'm space? Just go. Okay, so okay. have so now how do I pitch up? You, um, you're spinning out of control here. You're gonna have to, oh Q and E will control your roll, by the way, which oh, is kind of important. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, there you go. Okay, you, let's see. You let's got to roll. Okay. Yeah. Now, how do I fire up? Is this engine firing? Shift will fire. The engine has you hit X, so okay. you turned off the engine. All right. I um, just hit shift, and I can't tell if I'm. No, hold next. shift to in throttle up. Okay. And now I need to. Is that you're not, the way, is that not the way holding to shift yet. Oh, shift. Yeah, uh, there you go. But okay. stop that spin. Yeah, how do I? Is that yaw? Yeah, no. I think. And then you're now pitching up. Oh yeah. my okay, goodness! There we go. <laughs> now we're rotating. Well, you're recreating yeah. Mercury. Yeah, let me see if I can. Uh, except that. you don't have a parachute actually. Yeah, I don't quite know which way is. Bill is kind of freaking out in the bottom right corner oh, he's here. He's having a tough time. Here. <laughs> okay, I. I think I'm out of... Oh, it's S, not... I'm pressing S. S. Yes. No okay. <laughs> but you're actually spinning sideways now, so you need to press A, I think, to kill that rotation. All right. Yeah, that's the thing I gotta... Yeah, they, I'm sure they train you in this kind of thing. They when do, you went, but it doesn't right? look... But we didn't have a keyboard. You didn't have a keyboard. You actually had some proper controls. Yeah. That's, that's right. It doesn't... I sat it doesn't in, appear to be doing anything. I don't... Am I... Do I have any... You do, RCS but it's just left? taking very, it has a very small spacecraft with a very small amount of RCS. So you okay. have to hold it for a long time, I think. Because it doesn't appear to be slow. You're now accelerating in the wrong direction, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Use the nav ball, it helps. See how, if you just hold the D key, you will kill most of that. Okay, you have, you have a couple more minutes to get this thing under control. Okay, it's slowing now. Yeah. No, no. no. I want to hit the S key. Yes. Right? <laughs> Oh, there, look, there's your, that's the marker you want to aim for in the sky. Okay. That's your velocity. Yeah. There it is. That's the retrograde marker. And I want to go towards it? No, you don't want to go towards the retrograde marker, do you? Which one's, which? That's is, the program that, marker. Ah, there we go. There we so go. I want to go this way? Yes. Oh, now I'm understanding what these things mean. Yes, it, it, it's mostly. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what the space shuttle actually has in terms of control. So you weren't Not, a pilot, you were a mission specialist? Uh, yes, although I am a pilot. Although you are a pilot as well. But I see, I'm beginning to understand this now. No, okay. no, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm basically chasing that marker. You're right chasing now. that marker before you... You still you still get a lot of vertical velocity, you know. Yeah, but I'm not I'm lofted by quite a bit. You should have a little bit of time here, but I should probably shut down, but I didn't. Yeah. So I want to go, I want to hit this. Oh, almost! Oh, you're totally getting this, you sir. You sir okay. are doing excellent. No, I got that kind of settled here, and I want to go yeah. this way, right? Yes, you do. Let me get that turn. You only so need two I don't point. Want to do it too much. Yeah, you only need to get your orbital velocity up to about two point two kilometers per second. Okay. Uh, because this is a very small planet. Okay, and now I'm turning around this way. And once you get it on there, way. you want to throttle up. I want to go up like that. I would just put it on the horizon. You know what? I would just throttle up here. You're, you're almost Shifting. killed him. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and see how fast you can actually get. Okay, now I want to go. 
Okay, well, let's see what your final orbit is. I think we're going to stop it here. Press M. And this is your, your orbit around this planet here. Uh, it's intersecting, not good. Yeah, it, you actually managed to put it on into an inclined orbit. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, it will probably come down over Yeah, well, it definitely well. does. You should have really thought about <coughs> that parachute. Ah, <laughs> we don't need to stink in parachutes. Yeah, well, you know, you're not the one piloting this thing. Uh, well, thank okay. you very much for well, your... Well, thank you. This is fun. This is fun, yeah. It's um, Ed Lu, real astronaut. <laughs> you know, how many hours have you spent in space? Days. Uh, uh, something like 200 and 200 days. days. And you spent hours and days in EVA as well, right? Um, not uh, six hours something right. something right. something and now your job is saving the world from killer asteroids yeah the, and the cool part about it is is that this is one of those places where individual private citizens are going to lead the way and yep. they are leading the way it is it's so, awesome that people really believe there is a future in this yeah i'm hoping that this planet is around far after long after i'm here yeah same here <laughs> although i'd like to stay here as long as possible yeah that's that um, is the current plan yes well, there you have it. Ed did not get into space in our short time window. We actually, had, he had a phone call coming in straight after, so we had to cut this off. See, part of the problem is that while he is a trained astronaut, a trained pilot, and he clearly knows all this stuff, but he's not used to keyboards, he's not used to the design process in Kerbal Space Program. And it's understandable that it might take more than a few minutes to learn these things. So take heart. If you can't learn all the physics and the astronomy and you're having trouble getting to space, that's okay. It takes all of us a bit of time. Ed Liu is a very qualified individual. He knows probably more about space travel than me or many other people. And he also knows a lot about the, the asteroid problem, which is why it's great to see someone like him doing tangible work in uh, essentially addressing the asteroid hazard problem. And it's also great to do it, see that he's doing it with a private industry and uh, a lot of donations from the public, which is why I'm saying, you guys, if you're interested, you should get out and uh, donate you know, and help. Uh, you know, make a difference. Save the world, literally. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.